wasn't available as the co-feature. He was the original uh, person slotted as the co-feature. That opened up the door for Cecilia. And you saw the talent uh, of Cecilia and, frankly, of uh, Kaylee Reese. Kaylee Reese came to take the titles, you know, and uh, uh, hitting uh, Cecilia with a couple of those big shots that she did, you can tell she was very hungry. Uh, and she fought her heart out, heart out. Cecilia shows why she's the only undisputed champion in the sport of boxing. Uh, her technical skill, I think, is above uh, any other uh, female boxer in the sport. And uh, she showed how she was able to outbox uh, a much bigger uh, opponent, but a uh, very dangerous opponent like uh, like Kaylee Reese. Cecilia, if you want to say say a few words, and we have a uh, Jonathan Banks. Uh, sitting next to uh, Cecilia as well, so we can, uh, you know, after Cecilia says a few words, we can open up for uh, for questions for her. Um, yeah, this is. I haven't had so much fun in a long time. <laughs> I I had an amazing opponent, and we just we just went for it to ten rounds, and she. I needed someone who could bring the best out of me. So I went two divisions up, and I got the former world champion, and I knew that she would. She would just uh, come for the belt and she would give everything and I, she was definitely a worthy opponent for um, this historical fight. So I am, I'm just extremely happy mm -hmm. and proud of, um, of both of us tonight. Questions? When she got the knockdown in the sixth, did you feel at all that that happened? because you were fighting uh, out of your style, being more aggressive, being in, on HBO in America for the first time? Or were you fighting as good a fight as possible she just got the shot? No, I think, you know, she's very strong. Uh, she, uh, she is uh, bigger than me, and uh, she, it was a good shot. And um, I, I don't want to take anything away from her. Uh, she's uh, um, so, so she, she, she fought a good, great fight, and she definitely studied me a lot. And I, um, and I uh, got back on my feet, and I um, uh, finished the fight. I, I, um, uh, I think I, um, um, uh, I just, uh, you know what? I just, I just okay. This it happened. I just pulled myself together, and I. Uh, and, and I finished my, my fight and took my belts home with me. And, and I think that together with uh, having the first female fight on HBO in such a, in such a way is a, is a huge win. Cecilia, given that she had an easier time with you on the second um, half of the fight, would you be open to giving her a rematch anytime soon? Yeah, definitely. You know, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, you know, uh, Jonathan is not, uh, <laughs> he, <laughs> he doesn't mean it was such a close fight, and I, I, uh, I have to see the fight, of course, but uh, if, if that is something uh, of interest, I would definitely do that, and I will have Jonathan maybe fly in a little bit earlier than <laughs> next time. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, for sure, if, if that is something uh, of interest, uh, absolutely. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, definitely, yeah. But that's why I picked her because in my weight division, you know, I am the number one, and I pretty much have uh, uh, beaten all of the comp uh, competitive girls, and I and that's what needed to 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 really bring a competitive fight and and to to show my best in. Mm. Um, coming to America and, and taking on a strong American girl, um, it just tickled all of my senses and, and it, everything just delivered. The, the arena, the, the, the atmosphere, it was, it was amazing, absolutely thrilling. I have to interject something on Cecilia's behalf. Um, here's a champion that sells out 10,000 seat arenas in Norway. Here's a champion that changed the law in Norway. How long was it banned for? 33 years, Cecilia? 35 uh, yes. years? Yes, yes. Boxing, boxing was banned in Norway and uh, because Cecilia was so talented and world champion and so popular in her country, they actually changed the law to allow her to fight in her own country. She fights on pay-per-view in Norway. She's one of the biggest stars in Norway. 
leaving that atmosphere, coming here just for the opportunity to fight in front of the American fans, to opportunity to fight on HBO, to show her her skills, um, you know, with a completely different financial situation than what she's used to in Norway. That shows a sacrifice, the dedication that she's looking at to build her career over here in the United States with her style in the ring and style out of the ring. I think uh, she has a tremendous future over here in the United States and, and worldwide. And, and uh, uh, you know, we saw tonight uh, with her getting up off the canvas, fighting back, fighting a much bigger girl. We have to give Kaylee Reese a lot of credit. But that shows uh, <clears throat> Cecilia's championship spirit and the fact that she wanted to impress the, uh, the fans over here in the United States. This, this telecast was broadcast in over 150, it was 151 different countries. Uh, so it, it shows the marketability of both Cecilia and Triple G. Um, we broke the record at the Stub Up Center, not only for the number of people, but also uh, the revenue that was generated in the history of this venue. So it was, uh, it was a great launching pad for, uh, for HBO, and I see Peter Nelson back there, and we just want to thank Peter again for giving his blessing on uh, having Cecilia as the first thank female you, Peter. fighter on HBO. <laughs> and we can go across Kevin. to Kevin. Yeah. Cecilia, I just wanted to ask you, and Jonathan as well, uh, you referenced several times that Callie was bigger than you. Clarissa Shields obviously has fought at 168. She's a much bigger girl even than... Uh, Callie, how do you think, given your experience with this woman, that fight you would do against fighting someone as big as Clarissa Shields? <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, you got two different fighters, two different styles. So therefore, in my opinion, this first fight <coughs> with Reese, um, given the little time that um, <laughs> <laughs> I think she showed a little sparks that about what she actually can do as far as moving and boxing and I think that's what um, the sport is all about you know she when she was moving when she was boxing she was using the jab in my opinion she was doing a really good job you know so I think when she got caught when she tried to trade with her when she got caught the knockdown I don't think it took away any of the previous rounds that Cecilia was winning you know so therefore I think with Clarissa, that's a different animal. You can't even compare these two fighters in the same category because, you know, you got a two-time gold medalist against someone who don't have a gold medalist. But at the same time, um, I'm not trying to take another away from Reese because she got a really, really good championship spirit and a championship heart. But I just think those are two different level fighters. And we would definitely, Cecilia would definitely have to bring nothing less than her A game every single second of every round. To, um, to be close to shit. So, yeah, do you train uh, with Lucia Richard for the most part? <coughs> this part? Have you talked to her already about this win? If so, say anything about it? No, I'm just coming out from the. <laughs> from, uh, the uh, from, from uh, the water. Yeah, yeah, so uh, paperwork and over. No, I haven't uh, got that far yet. And the second question is like, well, you're from Colombia. Have you ever yes. think about bringing this whole boxing uh, talent to show over there in South America? I would love to do that. I just, I, I want to fight everywhere, anywhere, on the biggest arena, on, on the biggest TV channels. I just, I just want to box. <laughs> I love this and uh, new challenges and just um, uh, really see how far it can take me and how good I can uh, be in the ring and uh, and uh, you know what? Uh, I, I I just have to see what uh, opportunity is coming up. But uh, and for me, there is anything uh, is possible. Uh, Dan. Well, you know, me and Jonathan has worked together for a long time, and um, the first uh, weeks he couldn't be here, unfortunately, because uh, of uh, it was in Europe. So I, um, so Lucia did a, was so wonderful, kind that she stepped in. And, but at the fight night, I, my gut feeling was that I needed somebody who knew me and could, could 
take me, you know, uh, if anything should happen, so it could be there and just, uh, uh, and somebody who knew me, you know, and, 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 uh, and I think, um, I think it was the right decision, and um, I think always listen. I, I always listen to my gut feeling, and as a fighter, as you know, you are up in the ring. You know, it's it's your health. It's it's you. You are alone, alone there. You know, you you have to trust yourself. You have to trust your gut feeling, and uh, and my gut feeling this time was that I needed to have Jonathan with me um, fight night. So just quickly, then, how was Lucia's reaction to that? And Jonathan, what do you think when you got the call? No, Lucia is absolutely fine with that. She is an amazing person, so she's absolutely she understood the whole situation, and she just she stepped out, uh, stepped in in uh, a very short time for a couple of weeks, and uh, so so she she's been a fighter sh herself. She she know this uh, this game. Um, I can't say I was knocked off my feet <laughs> because I mean, me and Cecilia, it's not like we lost contact. She was talking to me and she was she was telling me maybe it's more so a week ago when I was still in, I believe I was in Germany, she said, this feels so weird. I don't know how I'm going to feel if I don't have you in the corner. And she was saying that and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe, she, maybe she will request it, maybe not. I, I didn't know. And when I got a call saying that definitely, I want you to be like, look, whatever you got to do, if you're not busy, I need you, I would like you in the corner. I said, of course. Because the, um, it's not like we didn't have no camaraderie before. I mean, we had a we had a good we had a good thing going, and we still have it going. So, um, and I think in sports, the hardest thing to find is that one to take another one to the next level. <coughs> you know, plane like last night. No, but this morning. This morning. <laughs> 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 and like this morning. So, but you know, like but when in, when I guess. With duty calls, <laughs> you know that's what it's all about. You know what? He came. I needed him, and he came, and that's the only thing that matters. David. So, Cecilia, there's another welterweight that's undefeated in the last 11 years. Yes. Maybe more part of the show. Yes. Still yes, and uh, and we are doing <laughs> we are talks doing talks with her, and uh, we have been for a long time, and I hope we can figure something out for sure. So what's all the you know what, I don't like to do this public, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, I don't do that. This happens between, this, in my book, it happens the right way between manager and promoters and, and, <coughs> and you, know, you know the deal. And I don't want to say anything, um, I don't want to say anything about it. Uh, I can say, David, there were pretty high financial expectations on <laughs> Playing on my Carter side, and it didn't quite fit into even the HBO budget. Uh, couldn't meet those expectations, even a uh, pay per view. So, uh, look, you know, she was the mandatory. Uh, she took a fight in Mexico, which, uh, as a mandatory, you're not allowed to do that. So, um, you know, if something like that, as Cecilia said, if something like that presents presents itself, and you know, if if the financial expectations are some something that's uh, realistic for for what works. Um, you know, certainly that's uh, something to, to consider, but that's a pretty direct answer to why that fight hasn't happened yet. Now, what do you think Emmanuel's story would have said tonight? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? In what way? About In what? the corner work, the fight. Well, you know what? Honestly, this is from my heart. I feel I don't, I try to do everything I can not to enter a gym into a ring, into a corner of an of arena without having him with me. So, I mean, that's why um, when I, what I do is, is coming straight from my heart. Uh, so, therefore, it's, it's no, that's why when she called, I, I, was, I, I came because, you know, it's, it's, it's coming from the heart. So, therefore, I really believe that what I said, I mean, obviously, he, I'm sure, he, he, to me, he's the GOAT. So he put it, put it in much better ways, but I feel he would have been happy with the things I said. Next question. Tom, um, in developing CCS now here in America, what do you think the rematch with Canelo done in September or even May of next year? Can we expect her to be on the Well, she was supposed to be on the first time with uh, Triple G and Canelo, so I don't see why she wouldn't be 
if the rematch happens, I don't think I don't see why she wouldn't be on that. She brings a whole different level to the promotion. We saw that uh, Cecilia generated her own articles, LA Times articles, uh, uh, ESPN, Yahoo. I mean, uh, people were writing about her uh, as a big addition to the show. She was generating her own publicity, and that's exactly what you want for a pay-per-view show. Um, so, you know, now with her debut uh, out of the way here on HBO, I don't see why she couldn't be on uh, on that show, as uh, she's she's definitely a huge asset to uh, to any any show. Um, speaking of publicity, Chris Cyborg was in the crowd wearing a T-shirt that said Cyborg versus Cyborg versus Is that something that you are seriously entertaining? Is it something Tom you'd be interested in? See, see now, Jandra, now you're hitting on a fight where the financial expectations actually can generate some interest. Um, and Cecilia will tell you that uh, she's been in contact with Cyborg, and and uh, before Cyborg had her last fight, uh, Cecilia came out and you know uh, spent some time with her, and I think they have a mutual respect for each other. Um, Cyborg uh, respects Cecilia's boxing skills, and and certainly uh, Cecilia respects Cyborg as a fighter. Um, she came, I think, to uh, generate some publicity for that fight. And uh, they have a mutual respect. If there's a way to try to make that work, I know in, in Norway that would be a huge fight. And uh, uh, Cyborg, uh, you know, with what she's doing in, in the Octagon and UFC, just uh, would definitely uh, complement uh, where Cecilia's at in, in, in her career. And Cecilia can answer uh, on, 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 from her side as well.